Welcome to your online sit-stand desk setup training and assessment for desktop units. Desktop sit-stand desk unit, dual screen, one screen used more than the other. Why should you complete sit-stand desk setup training? It will help you protect your personal health and safety. It will help set up your sit-stand desk correctly for effective working. It will help improve your posture when standing or sitting. It will highlight improvements that can be made to your sit-stand desk setup. What are the risks of a poor sit-stand desk setup? Back pain can affect you if you sit or stand for long periods with poor posture. Physical stress from repetitive movements can affect the back, neck, shoulders, wrists and legs if you work with a poor desk setup. Visual fatigue can be caused by consistent screen work or other factors such as poor lighting. Slouching over your computer screen can cause chronic pain conditions. Relief for back pain and musculoskeletal disorders. Physical and mental benefits of standing at work. Standing at your desk for part of the day rather than sitting will help relieve back pain. Several studies show standing desks can help decrease chronic back pain caused by prolonged sitting. Improves your posture. A varied standing posture reduces fatigue, back strain and will improve your posture. Lowers the risk of gaining weight and obesity. When standing, you will burn twice as many calories than when sitting. Studies show up to 50 more calories per hour can be burned using a standing desk. Reduces metabolic risk. Standing for part of the day helps lower your blood sugar level. Long periods of sitting has been linked with diabetes and heart disease. Invigorating. Makes you feel more invigorated and less tired. Changing from a sitting to a standing position. Push your chair back and stand up. Push your chair behind you or to the side so it does not obstruct your standing position. Grab the levers on the side of your desk and raise your desk to the correct height whilst protecting your posture. Set the desk height so you can stand at the computer with your arms positioned at your side. Raise and drop your shoulders, letting them hang naturally at your side. Raise your hands so they are slightly below elbow height and rest them on the table. You should be able to slide your forearms back and forth without having to lift your shoulder. Setting up the correct desk and screen height. The height of your desk should be at elbow height. Measure the distance between the floor and your elbow. Set the desk at this height. Your feet should be flat to the floor. Place the keyboard in the centre directly in front of you. Move the mouse to the side of the keyboard. Position your primary monitor directly in front of you. Move the secondary monitor to the side and at a slight angle as shown. Raise the top of both screens so that they are at the same eye level height. Tilt the top of both screens by up to 20 degrees away from you with the top of the screen at eye level. Move both screens to a comfortable viewing distance no closer than an arm's reach.
other desktop equipment and lowering your desk. Position the phone within easy reach on the opposite side of the mouse. Stand on an anti-fatigue mat which will reduce the pressure placed on the feet and joints. The softness of the mat encourages users to shift positions more frequently. When you are ready to sit down, grab the handles on both sides of the desk and lower it, protecting your posture. Correct seated posture. Retrieve your chair, sit down and move the chair closer to your desk. The chair shape or an adjustable lumbar support should support your lower back. Tilt the screen towards you if required. Adjust the monitor stand so that the top of the screen is at eye level. Move the screen to a comfortable viewing distance no further than an arm's reach. Adjust the seat back to support your lower back with an upright posture. Armrests should not obstruct close desk access. If they do, adjust or remove them. Adjust the height of your chair so that your arms rest comfortably on your desk. You may require a footrest if your feet are not fully supported on the ground. Getting the best results out of your sit-stand desk. Vary your posture when standing. Do not hold the same position for long periods. Split your time between sitting and standing. You should split your time between 50% standing and 50% sitting. If you are new to standing, start slowly and build up. Start with small periods of 10 to 15 minutes per hour. Sit down when tired. It takes time to get used to standing, so sit when you get tired. Wear flat and comfortable shoes. Do not wear heels. Use an anti-fatigue mat to reduce the pressure on your body and improve blood circulation. Structure your day to carry out specific tasks when sitting and standing. Stand when checking email and sit when work requires extra concentration. General considerations of healthy working. Working for long periods without breaks results in poor blood circulation and muscular strain. A change of working activity away from the computer is as good as a break. Do not sit without moving for more than an hour. Take lunch and work breaks away from your desk if possible. Where possible, work on one thing at a time. Thank you for completing your sit-stand workstation setup training. Please continue with the assessment questionnaire by clicking on Start Assessment below.